Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about numbers. In our chemistry class, one of the most important topics is numbers. We are going to learn how to work on numbers and we need to know some properties of numbers that we have not known yet. Whenever we say numbers, in general, in chemistry and sciences, we are talking about only one specific type of numbers and we are going to learn that one in this video what does that mean this specific type of numbers a specific class of numbers let me talk about the numbers by this classification if we have numbers we can classify numbers by two different groups one group of numbers we call them exact numbers Another one, we call them measured numbers. There is difference between these two. Whenever we say exact numbers, we can't. We just can't. For example, we say 15x, 198 shoes. Any examples? I just give it you these examples to make sure you understand we are talking about a general topics. So you may say two students. You can't. After any numbers reported here, you see one object. So this is a general pattern for exact numbers. After numbers, we have object 15x, 198 shoes, two students. Whenever we talk about measured numbers, we are going to measure the objects. We are going to measure the objects. We don't count them. For example, I'm going to say 1.95 centimeter. I may say 128 pounds. I may say 76 degrees Fahrenheit. As you see here, after our numbers, we don't have any object. I didn't mention anything regarding X, shoes, something like that. I just use one term, we call it unit. Centimeter is one unit of length. Pound is one unit of mass. Degrees Fahrenheit is one unit of temperature. So after numbers, we have unit. So we call that measure number. Whenever we are going to work on them, we just need to remember that. For measured numbers, we need to use tool any tools any tools so for example for the first one i may use ruler R let me write that ruler for this one i may use balance a scale for this one i may use thermometer so you don't use in general, any tools whenever you are going to count. So in chemistry or in general, in sciences, we prefer to work on measured numbers. We are going to measure something. It depends on our study. We are going to apply some rules for our measured numbers. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the difference between the exact numbers and measured numbers so it doesn't matter for measured numbers we have any specific tools we have old-fashioned tools we have any advanced tools so as long as you use any tools you may call that measured numbers tools means glassware in the chemistry so whenever you work in the chemistry lab if you use the graduated cylinder if you use for example beaker 
if you use urine. So they are glassware in the chemistry. We are able to measure volume of solution or liquids. So they are called tools or equipment in the chemistry as well. So please understand when we say measured numbers after the number, after this number, we have units. It doesn't matter what is our unit, as long as we don't call the object, we call that measured numbers. Hope you understand the difference between these two in general sciences or chemistry specifically. Thank you for watching this video.